All right, YouTube, welcome back. So Sierra did such a great job on the uh, 16 Malibu rear knuckle. I gave her praise because Jude uh, actually took like three and a half hours to do it, and Sierra did it in like an hour and a half. But Caleb rescued him, rescued Jude's pride by saying, "Well, he had a little bit more rust. He had a little bit more rust." And he had zero. Right. <laughs> so, in all fairness, he shouldn't need it. Jude's job was apart two times before he got to it, and so was Sierra's. Meaning the OEM knuckles were yeah. were already replaced, that, and then somebody put used that ones is, in. That is a good point. You follow me? That is a good so, point. in all fairness, Sierra is still superior. All right, what's up? If you see this on your vehicle after repairs, it typically means junkyard parts, salvage yard parts, used parts. Um, I can't say, and I'm going to tell you this for sure, that spherical heim joints for daily drivers is a better design. And what does that mean? It has a rubber boot and it has a steel collar and it's almost like a ball and socket joint, but not exactly. Non-serviceable. So what's, what's the fix for this crap? Well, look, they could have just drilled a hole in this all the way through, put a grease fitting in it and said, hey, we could make this last forever, but you're never going to get any technicians to go back there, especially at a quick lube and to service this. So if this was rubber, it would last probably twice as long as this. What's, what's bad about this is when these, these steel parts start knocking together, it emits such a horrible sound. Simple fix. In my opinion, is I wanted to drill a hole through this and add a zerk fitting and just see if... You can get them to last longer. Actually, just see if I could drill through this, the materials. Probably wouldn't it's be... Aluminum. You could probably drill no, no, I'm saying this I could, but this down here is so hard. The spherical himes is so hard. But this piece here doesn't move freely. And what's it's happening is like clunk, 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 clunk. So as the suspension's trying to move in all these directions, it's emitting a horrible sound that's traveling through the suspension. Stop buying used crap that has a high failure rate. This is one of them. So just to give you the explanation, the only thing that will cause a noise from this, besides not being loose, um, the knuckle we're saying, is the spherical heim joint in the back. So I just want to do a video. And this is <clears throat> the second vehicle we've seen with the used part on here. If that car is in the junkyard, it's not because it was hit. They all lie to you. It came off a low mileage car. It's all lies. And then you go and put this on your car and you have the same problem. For $98 from the dealership. And if you buy and bought this from GM Parts Online, it would be less. The labor is a little healthy. Um, but don't waste your money. All right. Thanks for watching.